Okay. Both are going to lead off their banning phase by a little bit of respect towards Misery there. They're going to rid of his Slardar. The response from Secret once again is going to be the Tusk. I wager with first pick going to Vici Gaming. And their second ban here should be a Doom. But this comes after an Ember ban from VG Gaming. Yeah, I wonder with that first game victory where they had the successful strategy over Doom. You know, whether Team Secret is like, you know what, we could do it too by leaving the Doom in the pool. Last time we saw Vici Gaming playing a support Doom on FY and... After the uh, post-game interview, we asked, like, you know, why support yeah, Doom? So they ban out the Ember, which is really... I think they're actually looking for a Meeple pick. I think this happened very early on in uh, another tournament. They see the Ember ban, they actually first phase pick the Meepo. I think you talked about it before, too. If, if they let the Doom through, they might just pick up the Meepo because it's a soft counter, I would say. It's not necessarily that great of a counter, but it's still decent. May happen here. The Secret used their ban instead on the Alchemist, which means Vici Gaming can't help themselves, but snag up the available Doom. So we'll see if Secret do offer maybe an early commitment to something like the Meepo. If not that, maybe the Undying as well. Because if you give Undying and Doom on the same team, maybe the early game to mid game will be really difficult to deal with as well. So that's something to consider if you're Team Secret right now. They do love to play those mid game dominant lineups that can still scale nicely into the late game here. And it looks like we're going to have a repeat here. Shadow Fiend going to be the first grab now. We'll see if they... Round it up maybe with a Dark Seer, let's say, and build on top of the team fight a bit. Yeah, there's a couple of important heroes that you want to deny Vichy. Dark Seer is one hero that you mentioned. Vichy Gaming also like Ancient Apparition quite a bit. I think A as a hero has a lot of uh, utility against Team Secret. Team Secret, one of those teams that like to do a mid-game Roche Smoke a lot of the times. So and having an A really to scout things out, start a team fight, that's a huge advantage that Vichy could get uh, if they have the AA. But for now, Team Secret, so they're still Queen, they're still Undying. I actually find it really surprising that they picked up Shadow Fiend in the first phase because this means that Vici's second phase bans are much more open because they don't have to worry about uh, the Wii Meepo as well as the Wii Wind Ranger. I think that we're also worried about if they didn't actually go for the Shadow Fiend, yes, they might not want... The Shadow Fiend might not be the best on the Dire side this time around, but if you give it up uh, to the Vici gaming side on the Radiant, it might be also very difficult. So it might also be a block pick that they, want, they went for the Shadow Fiend here because they couldn't ban out every hero. That's the thing with Vici Gaming, they got this Doom with who knows where it's going to end up. One position, off lane, in FY's hand, <laughs> in the four position. Secret are going to be stuck in the dark here as far as where the game plan is going to go. And they're going to be following up with the AA. And we know on paper a good counter for Doom and his Scorched Earth, but you were talking a bit in the last game, it's nice to have AA against these hero counters, but it didn't seem to fit with the overall strategy. Yeah, because AA doesn't really... That doesn't really allow you to actually force a lot of uh, early skirmishes because you want to sit in a lane, grab your level 6, you, wanna, you want the carry to leave and maybe try and gank somewhere else so you actually get a lane to sit on. So ideally, you, you want to have, uh, if you're up against a very greedy line, you want to have supports that can rotate and get kills and A is actually not a support that will do that. With this EA in that first Roshan fight, did like, I think, 1600 damage or something that LD said, over a thousand damage with Ice Blasting on two hero. Um, of course, his laning is amazing with Chilling Touch. And of course, with Kofi being buffed in this patch, we do see a lot of Kofi max for early game fighting. But I do agree with Winter is that he's a, more of a reactive hero, right? You can't be the one that goes in and yeah. initiate. So we need to see Team Secret on the third and fourth pick, pick up some just hardcore stuns. Yeah, maybe Vichy will want to go for something aggressive like a Spirit Breaker. Undying is also very aggressive in the lane because A doesn't really do so much against those heroes. So those, those options will be open for Vichy Gaming if they want to go for it. Seems like it's very rare for Vichy to pass on an opportunity to get a first phase uh, Undying, but they actually pass on it here and will opt for the Winter Wyvern grab. Yeah, this is more for the control on the Shadow Fiend because you want to have supports that have disabled that go through magic immunity. SF is more likely going to rely on his BKB to channel his Requiem, so you want to have supports that can deal with that. And Wyvern and Bane are the two only supports that can actually do that. You want to make a note, BG Gaming have played Wyvern five times this patch and they have a perfect 5-0 record with it. They're 3-0 with it in this tournament. Yeah. And once again, Vichy is banning out the Nyx. Uh, I was talking about it in the first game. Nyx and A is an excellent uh, combination for global pressure. So the Nyx can actually do a lot of uh, ganks because of the Ice Bus. So they are actually removing that from the pool. Five seconds remaining. I mean, there's still the Cloud work if they actually want to go back for it with the A. Reserve time. Lots of respect towards that Nyx assassin. Another ban on it this time. I think overall, though, Team Secret has to be very afraid of getting their jungle taken over pretty early. Like last game, they had a they had to dodge that because of the Undying uh, pick, and with an AA, it's just it makes your lanes so weak. 
I think overall as well against the Doom, you want to have two heavy cores like SF plus and another like anti-mage type of carry. So you want to have heroes that can actually do a lot of damage because Doom is going to remove one of your cores. So you want to have at least two cores that can actually carry into the late game. Because with the AA pick, I, I don't really feel like Secret are going to look to pressure a lot early game. They want to maybe try and build into more late game type of lineup with SF and AA and go for another carry on Envy. So you are just mentioning that you want another carry that could do damage. One of Envy's most played heroes is actually Razor. So we're going kind of the opposite spectrum. We saw Razor, a hero that doesn't necessarily care about being doomed, but at the same time doesn't really dish out too much damage. How do you feel about that, Winter? Mm. It could work, but it's going to put them on a timer because you are you have a safe lane Razor, even though you have a SF. You'll be under a lot more pressure to get stuff done. But compared to maybe you have something like a, maybe a Rave King or something like that deals more, like you have more carry type of potential to actually go into the late game, so you don't have to rush the game. Picking up the, with them picking up the Darkseid, maybe they're going to look to get a Gyrocopter to actually combo with the team fight they have. It might be possible, and Gyro is also a very strong hero into a late game. That's just so much ridiculous team fight there. After lots of respect and bans out on the Misery hero, removing the Nyx and then following up the Clockwork, they're going to snag up one of the best options that do remain. Not something that Secret typically are able to throw into their own draft, but this time it will be the Dark Seer. We just know Secret to kind of give Misery, be, uh, Misery rather, typically a favorable matchup so they can come online a lot faster. And Sometimes they'll even move them into the safe lane just to kind of play that bit of a recovery farm. But look at this response coming out from VG Gaming. The Lena coming out now is their third pick. Yeah, they just want a lot of spells that uh, deal with the magic immunity coming out from the SF later into the game. So, And it's very good versus SF in the laning phase as well. You can pressure him with the Wyvern coming in the early phase. The SF would be under a lot of pressure. And the more pressure you put on the SF this game, it's going to, you know, force Secret into a very defensive position because they have Darkseer and SF, like two heroes that want to utilize the jungle. So it might get too cramped in their base if they're actually under a lot of pressure from the laning phase. And with Queen of Pain, Lena is the next best thing. So, do you consider moving the Doom to the one position because he's decent versus Darkseer, or do you go for something like anti mage who already matches up well versus him? and run Doom in the offlane. I'm not sure though, I think if you go and team mage for, for BG Gaming and Secret goes for, with maybe a Gyrocopter and they try and pressure you like what they usually do, they treat the offlane as their safe lane, they might have a hard time farming in that game. Might be too greedy, but I'm not sure what they want to go for here. At the same time, if you look at Team Secret, they really lack lockdown. You're just depending totally on the Rubik for now. Yeah, Obviously, there's one it's more a, It's a puppy specialty. Sometimes he just doesn't really prioritize on getting too much lockdown. You have one, two small lockdowns, but you rely on your team's burst damage to actually get the job done. You say puppy special, but I have not seen Secret play Rubik in quite a while. I hope he's been dusting it off a bit. Comes I think it's going to be Pylite Die that plays it. Generally, he plays it uh, oh. for his past team. And it looks like this is. Oh. It could be an FY uh, Bat Rider. Last time we played, we saw him playing on a support position, got a 15 minute Blink Dagger, which it's, is. It's risky though. If you let the opponent know that you want to go for a jungling position for like a support, the Rubik, Rubik and A are really strong at level 1 and level 2. They could actually just come and pressure your lane. So it might be very risky for that to happen. I guess the beauty of it is it doesn't have to be a jungling bat rider. Right? Yeah, the, 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 option, the option is there if you yeah. want to do that. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, girl! <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Putting a lot of favor into the lockdown here, regardless of Xiaofin. Typically know him as a BKB kind of a kid. Yeah, look have. at that. There are four heroes that have spells that go through magic immunity. Yep. They just want to crush this SF like in the mid game. But the laning phase might be the part where Secret can take advantage of because they have the Rubik and A and potentially going into the Gyrocopter pick that I mentioned. Team Secret, are you prized into getting a Wraith King here? Like there's so much just I just kill you here, you know, with the Batrider kidnap, with the Doom, the Lina Laguna, like is it Wraith King or Bust? Maybe even the Razor though, because they, they have the Rubik lift into the static link and they have so much single target uh spell, so Unstable current could be something that's very useful against this lineup. But like I said again, like if you go for the razor here, it puts you much more on a timer to finish the game. Yeah, I'd be much I'd be super worried about scaling if I had a razor on my team. Especially if it's bad and winter wyvern, they're gonna run into the same issue as last game where they're not gonna be able to end the game at the time that they want to. Reserved. This is definitely feel like uh these two teams have just kind of formed their own meta right before our eyes here. We're seeing Weehaw playing How about Shadow Beam, How about Bat Rider come out. Do you guys like PA? I think she'll get doomed. I think VC are scared of the non-BKB carries, and yeah. that's why they banned onto Spectre. What other non-BKB carries are there? Like maybe PL, I suppose? There's not that many of them left. Mm.
it's very hard though if you want to win the lane like maybe only gyrocopter like but gyrocopter relies a lot on b heavy it's a tough decision here <laughs> and and it's very hard to like go into an ultra late game as well against doom so it's a lot of factors that they want to consider they want to have a carry that can actually fight early as well so it's going to be the rave king, rave king. they they might actually go like treasure though their lanes are very strong. They can do Rave King, Rubik plus A, try lane if they want to go for early aggression. And you can just lane Dark Seer versus Bat. You push the lane out and then you go jungle on the safe lane. I think more importantly, Rave King also gives you another form of initiation. You get an early blink, you actually start pressuring heroes we, off map. And we always talk about Iron Shell, Spirit Breaker, yeah. I, Iron Shell, Amber, but Iron Shell, Rave King is also very scary. If, in not early not as scary, but it ain't bad. You have two it's lives, scary. dude. Okay. Iron Shell and Amber. Is, is it an anti mage time? Oh, PL time. Oh. Taking it back a bit here. I led in today talking Wait, about jungling, burning. Jungling, they have a jungling doom of jungling bat. It's not going to be jungling a bat again. Yeah, yeah, 15, 15 minute blink dagger was FY's last timing. Let's see how early or how much later he's Team gonna get Secret it has to be the team putting the pressure. They need to go and contest the PL's farm and maybe even contest the bat riders farm. If they actually let Richie Gaming get away with this lineup and they go into mid game without losing too much casualties in the early laning phase. They're gonna have a tough time in the mid to late game. Do you think they have the tools to do it? I mean, yes, they have. Because they have the Rave King, they have the necessary tools to make a very strong lane. It's Rubik A plus the Rave King. So I think that they can actually win it in the early phase and just shut down the PR and the it's bad It's really either. easy to kite the Rave King though. I think that if they have like one or two bad fights, they can just completely. You can just go, like, you can go mill some though, like against PL. And as long, I feel like as long as he wins the lane, the kiting problem is not so much of a big deal. Yeah, but what about a Phantom Lancer with a Diffusal Blade going against a Wraith King? Isn't you, that scary? You, you can't let this game go until that point. Uh -oh. Just buy a mango. Just buy a mango. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if that's the case. It's going to be game two now underway in the grand final. Let's send it over to our casters right now. It's LD and Gods. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are live here in Singapore. Thousands of Dota fans. Some of the most passionate I've personally ever heard at the SunTech Convention Center. Only game two, Gods, of a best of five. Currently, Vici Gaming, they appear to have that hometown favorite vibe going for them, of course, with Ice 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 on the team. Hard to see why they wouldn't. They lead 1-0 in the best of five. Yeah, Seeker looking to bounce back here, and Vici going for a slightly greedy drop with the jungle support Batrider, but Seeker themselves very much looking to dominate the lane stage, I feel. You've got Rubik, AA, Dox here, and even from the get-go, they smoke in, looking for that level one fight. Ward's already out, and... Oh! I think Sentry missed the, the Observer Ward. Just, just, that's like two units. Whoa. Unfortunate. Yeah, they're not, it, completely out of range, and it looks like now the scouting information goes Vici's way. They'll spot up Misery. Know that he's at bottom, and that gives Vici Gaming kind of the knowledge that, to kind of lane around the dark being in the off lane. Yeah, because you look at Seeker, they could even consider an offensive tri lane. You're up against the jungler, you've got a really strong killing combo, so... Now Beach, you know what they're dealing with. They're gonna have an initiation here though. They'll lift down and build roll ground super. Throwing out the stun. He does start to take chilly touch damage, but it's actually a turtle envy in trouble as Bernie lays in with the Nemo stacks up. One more lands, they got him. From long range, burning delivers. And with that, he'll heal right back up and let's take a look at these lanes now, gods. First blood is going the way of Ichi Gaming now. Very important considering they are playing a bit greedy. They're running the what looks to be the jungle bat rider for FY. Uh, maybe FY takes the lane and Ice 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 goes bottom. I guess we'll see, but definitely going to be trying to squeeze a little bit extra off the map. Yeah, and still APL will TP towards bottom. I was about to say, surprised to see him head top. I feel like this is not the lane where he wants to be. He's not going to get much farm there. With the first blood, he can do pretty well against Doxy. We won't see Doxy get bullied out of this lane. It seems Vici Gaming would rather just trade Doxy against some experience and farm for their two support slash off laners. You've got FY jungling the bat, you've got Doom kind of pseudo jungling as well. Just kind of looking to play more greedy on the side of Vici Gaming. FY already beginning his stacking rotation now as uh, he will get the first double stack. Sice is also roaming. It seems he's going to head towards top, where Fenrir currently standing back. Does have the Arctic Burn, but needs to be careful. So they're going to leave Burning for the moment without support. And that Rider not really here. They can do a whole hell of a lot at level 1. How worried are you about the, the greed factor here? Some of the analysts talked a lot about. Witzer basically said if this goes too late and it's even, it feels VG Gaming are likely in a great position, but uh-oh. They make a move on Highlight Die. The Scorched Earth is there, but good to hero lift. And with the boots advantage, Pinelight Dive will just skate oh. away. So 
I believe that was the first smoke there for Vichy. That was that was a really a miss. unexpected smoke as well. That highlight I scouts out, and because he has boots, he gets away from. That was likely to head towards mid lane to look for a kill on Weeham. I kind of talked a bit about this last game. It really feels the big adjustment Vichy are making this series is pressuring Weeha early. Last game, it was a dual lane mid with the Undying. This time around, looking for a pre-two-minute smoke gank on mid, something they have not really been doing at all this tournament. So very much the attention has shifted away from contesting the off lane to contesting the mid lane. Misery does have a surge available here as FI continues pursuit, trying to bait it out. Of the Firefly doesn't really want to waste it, but may consider it now. Surge on cooldown. Not enough damage. The Maypalm stacks were there, but not sufficient numbers, so... Musical lanes continue, guys, as Fenrir will now head towards the mid lane. He's grabbed the Illusion Room bottom. What's, like, the ideal setup here for Vichy? Because they just seem to keep on switching. Uh, ideally, I guess they can't really deal with that ball. They just want to keep on stacking. They're, I don't think Vichy are likely to swap their lanes at all from here on out. Very much the Doom just wants to start in the jungle to guarantee that he can get a big creep. Uh, look for an Alpha Wolf for an Ogre for a Frost Armor. Right now he's just taking what he can get because he hasn't found any of those high value creeps. But they're looking just to play a bit more greedy. Then For now, they're happy with PL getting just so-so farm here in the safe lane because they know it's coming with FY's very fast blink dagger. He's jungling and getting uncontested farm for now in that jungle. Yeah, he's looking to clear out some of the the camp here, finishes off the big creeps, and back of that hits level three. Still so the one clarity ready. No other stacks currently available, though. The support's moving around a lot, and, well, the support, I guess you should say, in Fenrir. FY's looking to play carry here, and Ice 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 off busy in the off lane. So this does mean the Wraith Kane's the big beneficiary. Despite the early death, the Eternal Envy doesn't really affect his income, just gives Vici that boost in gold, and he sits comfortably at 23 CS. Yeah, and Secret have secured him this free farm while the supports have been active. You had Pylai Dice going up the smoke gank. Puppy and Pi also were both double stacking the, the big camps in the SF's jungle. So Secret looking to make sure they play the economy game as well. So it's not just Vici Gaming being greedy. Secret are fighting it with some greed of their own. And they did smoke here, gods, but I believe Puppy was not up the ramp. I think oh. he was scouted, but at the same so. time, very early he's getting stun. He has a mango. A level one Scorched Earth, though. He's gone just for the two points in Devour. Looking to juice, juice him up a little bit. Get him low before they go in for the real fight, which will come with this follow-up stun. I swing around from behind. They're in position, and now Ice 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 into the trees. got to be fishy. Uh-oh. Even with the Mango Scorched Earth, not sure he gets out of here. He is going to get scout out. Hey, surprise! Lift, drop, stun, and dead. They did not see that one coming, it seems. Mid lane, but now they're moving on mid. The ganking, roaming Batrider. It's a DD room for FY. That's the bigger kill, gods. And it is claimed easily. No dire vision of this bottom rune. Didn't know that it was a DD, and frankly, unless it's a DD or a haste, he's definitely not going for you there. So, a bit unlucky from the Shadow Fiend, but. It's early, unexpected movement from FY as well. Yeah, such a an X factor playing out of that jungle, not just looking to go for the purely farm centric play. And we'll now get back, continue stacking, and lanes looking overall still fairly solid for Secret. They are at least for now out farming Vici in the laning stage. But that's very much kind of what Secret's lanes are meant to do. They've got the lane dominators, they've got the strong support. You are Vici gaming while playing greedy. Your Batrider doesn't flash from the jungle until he gets more levels. It's very much just the what he brings to the table when he gets that Blink Dagger up, able to change the pace of the game. And like you said, Secret, not only are they doing well here in terms of farm, but uh, they in the lanes, but they're also stacking like crazy. Thank you, Dan Shea. Appreciate it. <laughs> Having a little side combo. Well... The game oh. apparently isn't exciting enough for the <laughs> Ice 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 also has lost his tower top, but right now it's leading to him getting a lot of XP and farm with the big creep wave pushed all the way up, and only now does Secret uh, manage to pull things back by denying a creep wave from Puppy at the pool camp, and a level 4, almost level 5 now for Ice Ice Ice's Doom, so he can offer a decent amount to his team just by having sheer levels. Generally, we do see these Dooms get pretty active once they hit level 6. Do, do you expect Ice 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 to gank right away? And if so, what lane are you going for? Is it just more hate on the Doom? Yeah. I think he would or like, uh, the Shadow Fiend, rather? I think he'd likely team up with Fenrir on the Wyvern. If those two heroes smoke up with Doom and an Arctic Burn, they can kill close to anyone on the map. SF is the ideal target, but it's going to come down to like whose position we're on the map. You're going to have to kind of read the game and figure out where's a short kill. Uh, and where's a kill where you're not going to give up anything in exchange? If you go for the SF when he's got two or three teammates behind him, then you're not going to get much out of it. 
chatter continues, but uh, we are going to see a, a pretty fast blink for a jungle bad gods. He's already level 5 at only 7 minutes in. Did stop off for the bottle, as did Burning. Trying to withstand the constant punishment Misery puts on him. It's not really affecting Burning's farm all that much, though. He's still at 35 CS with very little support. Seems for both teams, they're getting a lot more than you out of your standard laning stage. A little bit greedy, but it's greed matching greed overall in the early yep. moments. And uh, what are we looking for? As far as key, I item, key items go, that will kind of change the tempo of things. Uh, the Batrider Blink is one. Not an item, but a similar kind of timing is the Doom level 6. On the side of Secret, though, I don't feel like they hit the same kind of timings. If Envy wants to rush something like a Blink Dagger, then you can start seeing him get active and roaming with his team. But that does mean it kind of goes against what we're seeing, which is like the, the more farm-centric play. So I'm not really convinced he'll go for a Blink Dagger. Midas is just so good on Wraith King because he benefits so much from getting levels, getting XP. Uh, Already we see Envy getting a lot of XP out of the lane just by having a solo lane for the most part. The fact he hasn't needed supports to babysit him has really given Secret a lot of kind of a lot of work, like just room to play around with Envy having these having this huge level eight already. We will have a quick pause here and uh, I'm gonna make that decision fairly soon, guys. It's up to about uh, 1,500 gold. So if he yep. wants the Midas recipe, he can ferry it out in just a few moments here. Mm -hmm. Early days in game number two, and as quickly as we're paused, we're back underway. I could see Secret feeling like they need to be able to match the Batrider Blink timing with a Blink of their own, because otherwise, Beachy Gaming will just hit this timing where they've got Bat Blink, and every lasso is going to find a kill. They'll have Doom to follow it up, and Secret, at best, they have a mech at that time on a dark hero like Doxia, but... Uh-oh, oh. here comes the big rune clash. FY is in first. He does have the lasso, but no mana for it. They burst down Misery up the bat. It comes at the cost of Selena, though. So a Dark Seer for Alina. The very rapid exchange there. Shadow Fiend getting the last hit. As a hasted Envy. Mosey's on in mid. Suddenly four converging to Secret. For a very early group up and push here. Yep. They want these towers off the map early, and knowing that Vici Gaming, until they get that level 6 Doom and get the Batrider Blink Dagger, are not in the best position to fight. That is just 300 gold away, though. This is going to be much faster than what we saw last time out of FY's Bat. It almost feels like he's just playing a core hero right now. Yeah, he's ahead of the Doom by a thousand. And that's when you factor in the, the Devour Gold as well. Tower will go down nice and early per secret, though, so a big element of map control their way, and... On the back of the gods, perhaps we see them try to pressure that bat. Maybe go for a smoke gank. There is still one up on Puppy. And maybe delay the Blink Dagger if they see an opening. If they go for a Wraith King Blink, it really does open Secret up to just continually smoke and find pickoffs. They're probably thinking they can get this Wraith King Blink early enough that they can then take over the Vici jungle and prevent FY's Blink timing. Little do they know FY is just farmed out of his mind and about to complete it, but... He's the, almost the same level here as Misery, just inches away from hitting level 8. And that's the blink. Yeah. One more creep. You can grab it right now. Might even be able to go for a kill here on the Dark Seer if Misery's not careful. Oh, yeah. Early vacuum does get committed. Burning has the bottle charge. And yeah, He's with, a bit low to fight. With Lances combined with the Lasso, I think we could well see Misery go down here in the off lane. There's a couple TPs available, but... I haven't really got the best defensive counterplay. A Rubik Telekinesis is probably the best thing that anyone can bring to the table. So if I will grab his prized mm -hmm. Blink Dagger, bottom right? Rune. His bottom rune's about to spawn, and he's gonna go for it! There's the Blink Forward, the lead is not off the mark, but the Laguna Lasso combo missed stun, get kill anyway. The Lena <laughs> way of life. <laughs> FY's greed continues, like, I'll take that bounty rune. There's, there's a kill tax for you, Super. Yeah, you missed the sun, I take the kill. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. A kill secured, a bounty rune grabbed, and... Super! Not the fastest start that we've ever seen here on Alina, but... Oh! He towards his Yule Scepter. Right, we didn't talk much about Blade Mail picked up from Envy. Ah. Very... Slasher's way. Wants to fight a lot and fight early. Great against the Batrider since you can easily just proc, well, proc the Blade Mail and guarantee that you get damage done in return. A lot of these AoE spells you can't prevent getting reflected as well. Stuff like the Lina LSA Dragon Slave, the Splinter Blast. It gives Wraith King just a lot of things which he's missing. A bigger mana pool, more damage, as well as some armor as well to fight in these early clashes. A very just good, well-rounded item. It's a smoke gank from Secret. They do not have a lane ward. They're just going to poke their heads out. But the hero, they're ganking gods. Very difficult to lock down. They're going to drop a nice vortex. FY, quick blink away. Still holds the TP here, and he's just going to retreat. So Secret, continue to group. 
continue to try to force objectives as a squad while Ichi Gaming spreading the map, focusing a little bit more on the farm game, kind of playing around the lassos and the pickoffs. You know, pickoffs. Could see you on top here, we huh? He's rather tanky, but he is exposed, and knowing that his whole team is bottom, he's gonna back away. So another tower falls to the Wrath of Eternal Envy sword. Yep. And, and something the last hit there. I mean, Secret just being really good about pushing these towers. Vici going for the greedier playstyle, not defending towers, just exchanging um, for these towers. Problem is they're losing map control, which means Secret, this will open things up to go for a fairly early Roshan, which Vici Gaming can either make like a, a YOLO smoke ball to try and contest, but if Secret sneak their way in, you're not going to know when that Rosh, Rosh is happening. So for, for Vici, they're going to be playing much more in the dark, and I'd love to see Secret, this game of all games, to pick up an early gem and at least prioritize taking out the Vici gaming vision. Last game they had a Hulk, so you're finding a losing battle. This game they have no real scouting capabilities. And they're actually going to go for the Roche now with the already the level 2 Vampire Gara, the Shadow Fiend quite far. They just get this for free. There's really no, as you mentioned, idea that it's going on from Vici Gaming. They have a tiny nook of vision here at night, but don't think it even saw a hero walking down that ramp. So they're going to press in the top lane now. Also no dire vision. They might be able to get the jump here on Misery. There's a Mango available if they want to commit a Doom as well. Blink. Lasso is there. FY on the hunt again. Doom committed as well. And it's going to cost them a Dark Seer, this Roshan. Not a terrible trade for Seeker, but Vici happy to just get that extra kill. Yeah. I think it's a Rosh that Vici are never going to be able to contest anyways unless they just happen to just mind game secret, predict exactly when it's happening and get a five-man smoke to the pit. But go grouping up as five is just not what the Vici gaming lineup is designed to do right now. They want to farm, split push, they've got a PL, they've got Doom, they've got Batrider who can find pickoffs, and finding pickoffs is better than the actual team fight. Fanrir gets blasted by Weeha Puppy! It's on his sniper outfit and gets to work on the Ancient Apparition. Has been so consistent on this hero over the course of the tournament. And you can see how they value it in the draft. They take it second, and the first phase, pretty much every game, unless they want to go for that Ember Windranger. And at least early on here, it does seem to be paying off reasonably well. And for, for Vici Gaming, another like kind of hero loss for them is not the end of the world. They're just looking to... You kill one of our heroes, we've got four other heroes farming. That's kind of the, the general summary of what Vici Gaming are doing right now. And every uh, now and then they'll going for, for the kill. TP out and Misery. Ah, oh, just misses it with the back. This is just one of those FY games, gods, where every little skirmish, yeah, for whatever reason, he lives kind of a charmed life. He's the most fun Beachy Gaming hero! <laughs> and it's not like he's been AFK. He's 3-0-2. Yeah. He's farming, like, he's... He, <laughs> and a hero that benefits a lot from having a lot of items as well as fast items. Blink 4 staff going to be coming up in record time. This guy doesn't play support. <laughs> it's not really in his vocabulary at this point. Ice Blast will cross over Super's head. They know there's a lane ward somewhere about after that Ice Blast mid, but unfortunately they deward the wrong direction. It's burning. It starts to amp up the aggression here on Puppy, but will be forced back by the TP rotation of Misery. Very slow start for the Darkseer, meanwhile. Still is not yet to complete that. Oh, mid lane pie. They're jumping in, and Lasso, not even need it. Nice play it onto it. They holding, don't even need the Yule Scepter there. Yeah, holding everything. Laguna, Lasso, now they've still got it for the SF. Kind of Lasso one second, but Firefly... It's an Aegis, so no... You can all in to kill an Aegis, but then if Secret are there with a counterplay ready, you're in trouble. It feels Secret of kind of limited in what they can do because they lack any good initiation. They don't have that Wraith King blink, and now I definitely feel like Envy needs to be picking up a blink, not a Midas, not... A Radiance eventually, I think, is a great Wraith King item, but right now Secret is just suffering because they have no playmaking capabilities with their lineup. Okay, so let's say that you get the blink dagger. Shadow Fiend Aegis has got about two minutes here. They also now just complete the mech finally for Misery. Can you just full-on force a fight? Dive a tower, commit incredibly heavily, and go for kills. They're, they're much stronger at that point. It's very much a matter of... Do you want to five man though and force a fight? Because if Vici Game, if you don't find that fight, Vici Gaming are farming Ultra on the map and will just be winning the economy game. So Secret have to be sure if they're going to group up that they find a fight, or they may just look to go for more like two, three hero kind of smoke ganks as opposed to like a full all in five man roam kind of play, which just seems to, to not really fit the the matchup between these two teams. We haven't really seen five v five team fights be prioritized yet when these two teams have versed each other, be it in the finals game one or the previous match in the upper bracket match. It is a bit of a change-up for Secret. You look at most of their games in the group stage gods and in the bracket in this tournament, and 
generally they're the team that has like that late game insurance. The Wind Ranger, the Ember Spirit, often the Slardar for Misery. That started getting banned, so they went for the Magnus, and Puppy even said, we don't care about RP, we just want the Empower for the farming, and, and just basically GPM it can add to the lineup. The narrow D Ward miss here by Fenrir. At that point, it's a changeup. Beachy Gaming, they're the team with the Midas, the Devourer, and a lot of strong late game is FY again on the hunt. He's gonna find a wild pilot. I push back by the flame break. Death once more as the FY show continues. 4-0 on three. The team's got seven kills. He's yeah. been involved in, you guessed it, seven. Oh, Blink Doom available at top, but not here you can Blink Doom on. Uh, yeah. And very much a case where Pilot Eye is kind of playing that bounty hunter type role where he's just off scouting the map, getting a bit of farm for himself, and very aware that a death like that is possible, but it's better on him than one of his teammates. So because Secret are limited in vision options and want to be farming the map as much as possible, they sometimes have to lose a hero like a Rubik in that situation. They are going to find Pilot Eye. This poor guy! Oh, man. He sees Weeha wow. walk up the lane. He probably figures, okay, Oh, it's safe to come out, but they're not going to go for the Aegis carry. They'll go for that squishy Rubik every time. Yeah, that Aegis is still at 20, 30 seconds on. And they just, for Vici Gaming, they're not going to take commit to any big team fight near the Secret Tower. Hey, there's a nice blast top. They're going to drop a wall. They back Ice 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 back in. Secret really feels like they need this kill. If I with the Flame Break back, he's also got the Force Staff available. Get out of there, Ice Ice Ice. I got you covered. That'll make it all mad even more time. What a magician. This, he, he's doing everything. He's just like, all right, team, just just hop in my backpack right now. He's making it look easy here. Blink Force four position bat, and now he's up to level eleven. He's got another eight hundred gold. How the secret deal with this? They're gonna just go greed. I, as much as I, I kind of felt like the the blink on Envy could have led to some secret aggression, especially when they hit the timing with the Doxy Mech, uh, as well as the SF having an SMY. But instead, they set decide, let's just go, let's fight. Well, what it was Vici Gaming finding constant pickoffs with just more and more greed. They're going to go Midas's Radiance on the, on the Wraith King. Very much playing for the long game. Yeah, this time around, Puppy not going for that early Ghost Scepter and more team-oriented style. He is going to grab himself the Midas, as you mentioned. And the Radiance is also coming. As FY moves down the middle lane, under cover of smoke. Secret. Handing out bottom with two heroes. They want to try and put some pressure on burning, perhaps. Highlight Eye is going to TP, though. And they have yet to see FY mid. Eternal Envy, really not the hero you generally want to go for. They say, screw it. Let's at least get rid of that ultimate. Lasso comes out. They're going to kill him off once they do have a Winter Scourge. Or will they kill him off? Yeah, down he goes. And do they fight for round two? Curse online, but Shadow Fiend streaking in. They're going to have to commit for this. The Blade Mount on the point. There's the stun from Super and the Curse. And the two, the doom is well. I will also fall, but Ice Ice Ice. Looks like he will be the trade, and he's already working against him, he's tanky, oh, he's so tanky, well. he survives! Finally oh. they get one last karate jump, but now Burning's had time, and he gets active as well. Eternal Envy doesn't have that second life, he is holding a blade now, Misery, more more lands to do him in! Burning's gonna get him sniped, FY with the pushback, gets the kill, the oh, burn damage does it, and they want a little more! FY jumping in, they're gonna start He's to got the reincarnation, I okay, him. no chase. He does have the blade now, he does have the stick charges. And we'll make it up. Really good fight for Vici Gaming in the end, though. They bring down the, the heroes that matter. They take the SF, SF out. Now there's no reincarnation for a couple minutes, so Envy's got to be very cautious with his farming. Very much forcing Secret into a fight, and it was far enough away from the Tier 1 tower mid that Secret couldn't quite get there in full force. The blink and the force up on the bat, pulling Envy as far away as possible. And while Envy didn't die that second time, it forced his teammates to just fully engage, and we are not really ready to fight until he has the BKB right now. Oh, this is a big item, gods. Burning, rushing the Diffusal Blade, you're up against the Darkseer, easy to just cancel that surge away, and... Perhaps even more importantly, against the Wraith King. No BKB, no real mana items aside from the stick here. Could be in danger of not having the reincarnation for the next fight. Yeah, you've got the Blade Veil, but that's just more mana for burning to burn away. Ice Blast! Oh. Even if it hits, I think he's okay there, but would have brought him low. Yeah, he's not in too much danger. Now the early gem comes out, we see FY to take out some of this secret vision, and boy do they have a lot in the Radiant Jungle. Very much secret kind of set up. Partially to secure themselves the next Roshan, I imagine, but also try and find some pickoffs of their own. Something they've been very unsuccessful at this game. 
very much reliant on a Rubik telekinesis to start off any kind of a fight. And it's been a, a big weak point in their draft. So the Wraith King is going Radiance, as you mentioned. What's your analysis of this item? Is this uh, a game-changing item for Secret? You mentioned maybe it's necessary if you're going to play the farm game, but how, how well do you think this plays into their overall strategy? It's playing more towards the late game, but after the Radiance, I think likely we see the Blink pick up, and then Secret have some options as far as team fighting go. Oh, hey, Pilot Eye. <laughs> a great, great counter item for the mobility and heroes like Doom as well as Batrider. Very annoying. If you're pulling the Wraith King in with a, a Lasso to start a fight, which is often going to be the main hero you can get with a Lasso, he's going to be dishing out damage even while he's able. marching in, but Batrider, this is where he shines, <laughs> flying over trees and being a pest. But they did bring numbers, though. At the same time, Beachy going to match it. Five heroes rotating, and the Blink now comes out. Her Misery and Gonzo will be paired with the level 2 wall, as well as the, I believe, level 2 Ice Blast. Oh, coming soon for Puppy. So the team fight of Secret gets a whole lot scarier, and we saw it last game. Misery, this guy is, at this point, just a team fight specialist. They're gonna move in with the Wraith King. Sun comes on to Bernie, but he gets pushed back by FY. Now the Lance can come out, the Monobird begins. And Eternal Envy will be kited, frustrated. They may even move on deeper towards him. He's hanging out of the stick charges, so he can always get off that reincarnation as long as he gets oh. it up. And now it's time for Misery to jump in. The curse committed. Laguna's there in the nick of time, and now they're going to try to control Weeha. They doom him. They lasso him. The doom was stolen. It's turned against them. Pylai die with the big grab. But will it be enough? The Saturn Evil wants to get involved. No, Ice Ice Ice. Racing forward. Everybody retreating. No, they try oh. to deny him, and they fail. The timing's not right, and they may lose more as Burning marches, and he's got the Diffusal Blade. There's no Vada here on Puppy. Jumping in, backing out, and thinking about one more go. Ooh. A game of chicken for both teams. They do bring down FY Gem. Not reclaimed by either team yet? Is it still on the ground? Where is it? Korea? Yeah, it's on the Radiant Korea, so they, they did manage to recover it, and now Envy completes Radiance. Is under attack. Well, pretty important he doesn't die there. I think he yeah. only just got the gold for it. So we see there's a lot of fight changing spells here. That back into Ice Blats can almost instantly delete a hero. The Rubik. I mean, we talked about Fissure last game, but my god. Lasso, Doom, Winter's Curse. This is like the dream oh, yeah. Rubik game for Pile I Die. I'd be tough to get the spells off, though, gods, as he is. Currently only level 8 with no mobility items whatsoever. And VG Gaming were very clever about how they started that fight, just whittling away at the Wraith King. This is a game where Wraith King is going to get heavily kited. And it forces Misery to engage in kind of non-ideal circumstances. If he doesn't blink in for that vacuum to counterplay the Lena Yules, Wraith King just straight up dies without reincarnation because of the mana burn. So it was a really nice safe play by VG Gaming, although the fight that ensued wasn't as one-sided as they would have hoped for. The Siege begins mid, is super, gears up for his next item up to 1750 gold, Envy. He can kind of try to waltz in, ah, oh, it's FY again. He's found Puppy on the back lines, there's the Lance, we get up good Ice Blast. He does match the clip, FY, the back back, they're both gonna burn, I'm taking you with me, FY, says Puppy. The two captains, throwing away their lives. Now our mid will be held, it's very low though, Catapult. Looking for that last hit, but no, Weeha slams the door. Yeah, and importantly, FY has actually just left that gem back at base on the career for some time. I think recognizing now is when the team fights are going to happen, and very good away. He just died twice in a row, and makes sure he doesn't lose the gem, keeps it at base, and also knows that they, I think they took out either two or three secret wards in their jungle, so very much the gem had cleared out the majority of secret vision, just the one at the Roshan pit for now. And until we enter that kind of stalemate, circumstances where the game slows down, he won't need to hold with the gem for a team fight. There's not actually any invis on the dire side right now. Well, God, it's another Roshan. The timing could be really good here for Secret is with the Bat Rider dead. Tough to see Vici contesting this. How how much does this Aegis worry you if you're Vici? It's tricky. You can't team fight once you see an Aegis on the side of the dire. They're gonna have an SF with a BKB. The Wraith King, no Blink Dagger yet, but very much at a scary state because of the Radiance kind of negating what is a triple Blink lineup from Vici Gaming. Uh, do, Lena did end up going back for one. Do you like the adjustment here from Weeha? Normally he goes for that Shadow Blade SMY, Dominator, more of like a, a hard carry Shadow Fiend. But you're up against Lena Laguna Eggs eventually, the Winter's Curse, the Lasso, and the Doom. There's a lot of things that pierce PKB. Do you, do you still think this is a good fit for Secret? Yeah, just so he doesn't get controlled in the fights. And I, I think Secret recognizing they're kind of looking to team fight more this game. They don't want it to drag out too late when you're up against a lineup running essentially four core heroes. So 
something more early game centric, uh, well mid game centric, and then also giving you the ability to push high ground with SF in the front lines. Without a BKB, we saw last game, it's just a, a Rubik Telekinesis or an Alp stun that can take him out of the fight. And that game deciding fight last game was where he just couldn't use Satanic because of stun. Oh, they found themselves a pie and they're gonna pull him down into the river. Roast him and toast him and down he'll go. <laughs> hey, we'll get the D ward in the end with the karate chop. Yeah. Poor Pylite die guts. Just <laughs> FY's just been yeah. on the jam. It's really not fair at this point. Pi not playing badly by any means and that that's the one thing this game though. We didn't really talk about it much. There's a lot of times you see Batrider picked up and teams will pick, you know, something like IO, Disruptor, two of the better heroes to cancel that initiation. Potentially even a vengeful spirit, though she's kind of fallen out of favor. They don't really have a traditional Batrider counter this game. Yeah, if anything, Batrider may be one of the heroes they want to try jump and just initiate on, just to take him out of the fight because of how important he is. Uh, it's just, it's tough. Like you, like you said, there's no blink on Wraith King. The bat has a blink and a force, and he's usually got the vision advantage from the gem, so... Oh, you really got to get lucky to catch him. Uh, we've got a, what, Lotus or Rush from Puppy? This is unprecedented. This is the lasso counter, maybe. A lot of single target spells. Doom as well. We're down. They're going to see FY. The back's there. They back him into a lift. Chain stun. That's some hate. They will get the kill, but the turn might be there from Super. He gets up the stun. The initiation's on Misery. Ice 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 jumps in, but it's into a Requiem. Deleted from the fight. And now Fenrir. No curse available. Envy's going to surge forward. He sees opportunity. Fenrir, very low. They'll take down the Wraith Watch, but they already lost the Wyvern. And now time for life number two. Blade Mail activated. Super in trouble. This could be kill number four. He is being kited, but down he goes. Can PL one man army his way and hang on to the base? Doesn't seem like it. They will respond relatively quickly here. Secret showing the killer instinct this time around. You asked if they should be scared of the ages. There's your answer. They should be right in right now. Secret just walked past the tier two tower, dives the high ground, and ballsy stuff coming out of Secret, especially when they're down one game. They've still got the BKB, still got the Aegis on Weeha, and Wraith King's ultimate's back in 20 seconds. When these heroes respawn, there will be a second life for Envy. Uh, may not have the mana at this rate. They will back off now, a bit wary of those, those respawns. They are pretty much committed if someone gets jumped like a, a Wraith King. And even the SF, yeah, he's got BKB Requiem, but if they kill him once, very well could kill him a second time, using the lasso to kind of control him during the BKB. Well, FY decides it's time to take the gem out of storage. The yeah. final ward only just planted. And you know Secret's kind of been on your side of the map, pushing you back, and that's where they're gonna get down some of those deep wards, so FY will kind of fish around and see what he can find. As it turns out, there was only the one, and now Pilot Eye, he, well, he has an invis rune, but FY's got the gem. Uh, the pings do come out, the Lotus Orb, already complete on Puppy. Yeah. As he creeps forward, Pi wants this gem. He wants it pretty bad. And the loser. Not gonna happen. I feel the hero that actually counts the hardest right now is probably the Lena, because it's very obvious who and when Super wants the Laguna. It's always gonna come off of a Yule setup or at least an LSA setup. Uh oh. <laughs> F1. Ooh. All right. The teams have the same idea. Run! Well, Bernie gonna push the top lane in. So he did go for the BOTs, God. So looks like they did match the jump. Super getting caught by the back. FY more importantly, that's the gem. Misery found the combo and they just slapped them down. Gem now hitting the deck. Still on the ground. That gem's kind of like hidden by the fire, awkwardly. Uh, They're all just standing next to it. There we go. Misery sees You can't now. hide from misery. They just stole off the wall even. They got the Wraith Fiend ult. I think they can force this, Scott. They're gonna jump in. Oh. And Ice 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 has just arrived for base defense secret. All of a sudden, just pounding through the Vici defenses. This game looked like it was very strong for Vici through the early stages, but now things are getting trickier. As Wiiwha will bring down the tower, the Lotus Orb chucked out onto him. Preventing any sort of initiation, they don't have five back on Batrider. They do on the Doom, as well as the Lena. The ults are available, something secret or wary of. They want to force these buybacks, but they don't want to get caught on the retreat. Yeah. Seems they still can't quite break through the base, but they do get the tower. Very much showing respect towards the Vici Gaming high ground defense. They've got good wave clear coming out of the Wyvern, as well as well the Lena when Lena's alive. And more importantly, they've got a great way of initiating and starting a fight with the Bat Lasso. Even when it's like a 5v2 scenario, if you get Blink Lasso, combo that with the buyback, suddenly Secret are losing a key team fight that could turn around the game and ruin any momentum they have right now. Burning. Let's continue to farm though. Now up to the Yasha. Um, an okay clip for appeal. Nothing extraordinary, but 
Considering the map control, Vici are going to slow down in terms of their net worth now. Or the growth there of back. What's the what's the game plan here now, gods? With Vici losing their map control, the Aegis is now of course down, but up in a couple minutes, and you have to figure the way Secret are playing that they're going to go for high ground then. How did Vici Gaming avoid getting racks for the next five to eight minutes? They very much need BKBs for the fight. Fighting into, like, the Telekinesis, the Wraith King stun, and I'd say most importantly, the Darkseer Vacuum. When you see that initiate, well, when you initiate, you need to make sure you've got your BKBs on so Misery can't counterplay you with the Vacuum Wall. Uh, be it, what, Lena, Batrider, Doom, all three of these heroes need BKB this game, and all are probably getting it as their next item. You know, FY could have almost had one here. He picked up the four Staff. He yeah. was the person to buy the gem earlier. Very close to a BKB, but that was not the way up to go. Got the Yule Scepter instead. And that's where, I mean, we talked about them not really having a great counter for the Batrider, but Rubik, actually, if you've got fast fingers, you can kind of completely ruin a Batrider's day if you catch him with the Telekinesis. Let's go get the job. Both teams stuff. getting the vision now. They're going to lasso probably the worst here in the world to bring in. It's the Wraith King. It's Ice Ice Icing Ages. He managed to get up the Doom, and it was Lotus Lord back the other way. And Envy rushes forward. He sees opportunity. Ice 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 in danger. Looks like he will go down in the trees elsewhere. Then we're going to TP out. But they jump forward. Oh, Super with the shotgun to the face. Takes out Misery. The wall was deployed. They're going to lose two cores here. Yeah, they got the Darkseer, but... Again, an expensive pair of deaths as Burning will float away. I believe the gem still remains on the dire side. Damn. Just, yeah, still on pilot die. We have seen some sick Rubik play this best of five, and we're just in game two. First FY in game one. This time around, it was actually a stolen Doom coming out from Pylai die. And... Oh, was it not the Lotus Orb? No, not oh, the okay. Lotus Orb. It came out like, I mean, the Lotus Orb is still very annoying to verse, but Pi was the, the big hero of that fight for secret. He had a 0 and 5 start. He's got 11 yes. assists. You know, every death of his benefited his team, I would. You could, I think you could argue. Getting the move in here. FY looking for the lasso initiation. Illusion start to stack up. They chase forward. Puppy taking a lot of napalm. This is the way Vici like to fight. Slow, chip him down. Don't fully commit, but they've got the curse. Oh, and they're going to turn Weeha against Puppy. That, too, was stolen. I lie, die. Wow, this is not a guy who tilts gods. Impressive stuff from the Rubik. Yeah. And for VG Gaming, they need to be able to find some farm on the map right now, which is very difficult to do, considering the lack of vision they've got up with Secret. They've now got the gem in their hands. I, they almost need to buy a new gem. Ideally, it's someone other than FY because of how important the BKB is going to become for FY. Wyvern probably the one hero that just doesn't really need much more than the Glimmer Cape we see now. So at Fenrir, when he can afford it, may buy a gem for the team. Outside of that, Super's Lena needs to see some item progression. BKB, probably the next item for him as well. They now trail by a substantial margin. Vici, something the analysts discussed was that they probably hold the late game edge here if it's an even game, but 10k gold lead roughly for Secret. Seeing it reflect in the items. Bernie will cobble together a Manta style Super. Still really nothing since the Yules just gets the blink. A long way off from a potential eggs if he even wants to go for it. And meanwhile, Eternal Enemy, he's already gotten the BKB, did use it last fight, and now on to bigger and better items. Weeha, well on his way to a potential butterfly. Cheese picked up as well here on and, Wraith King. Ooh. And being a yeah, third roast already, that's one of the big benefits of going for that, like, what, 10, 11 minute roast that they did. Cheese is amazing on Wraith King against the PL, especially because it guarantees that he's got that extra. Not only does it save him that one time where he doesn't have to reincarnate, because he's often getting mana burnt, he may not have his ultimate up, and that's where the cheese just gives him that extra bit of assurance. They're going to have to fight here. Eternal Envy marches down mid. Checking buybacks. The Wraith King holds one, so too does the little Rubik. As five heroes descend on the lane. Let's Doom see. just wants to farm his BKB top before he comes back to defend. Oh, uh, he's very close, Ice Ice Ice, but he may not have the time for that. There's the first stun from EE. The Ice Blast is going to connect, and oh, no, Yules is there. Trying to dodge away and survive the Glimmer oh, Cape as well. Not. Beautifully placed with the Stolen Winter's Curse. It turns. FY gets Finra, unfortunately. Doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot of damage. So now the Shadow Fiend, BKB'd and looking to run. He'll blink out. That was seems so they have well hold. defended by Vici. Yules really made the difference. Yeah. Yules, the Winter's Curse was. Uh, you could not really waste there. I mean, it saves your Lena and holds your high ground. It doesn't win you the fight, but it, it repels Team Secret. And most importantly, Weeha's BKB was used during it. So, with his BKB on cooldown, despite having an Aegis, Secret decide they don't really want to push right now. 
It just felt like such a good timing for them. They've got vacuum level four, and they have the stolen winter's curse. You hit that combo. That's later X. Yep. But they couldn't uh, quite find it. Pi still with his hands on a winter's curse. Go ahead and see if they look to make another push while they've got this. Not long left with the spell steal though. And they still also have the ages here. It looks like quite a bit of time out. Three minutes and, a, and change. So Beachy Yami definitely not out of the woods just yet. This will buy them a brief reprieve. Buffing Butterfly getting closer and closer. But Burning quietly continues his farm. And if this does go late, Gods, they, they just don't have the traditional ways to deal with the PL. Yeah, you've got the Radiance Burn, that's okay. But when you imagine a PL with Scotty, maybe a heart picked up at some point, like, that Radiance Burn is only going to do so much. Yeah. And importantly, like, the Wraith King, like, a lot of his late game and what he provides the Shadow Fiend is that Vampiric Aura, but you're not going to be able to lifesteal off of Illusion. So if you can't ah, find that real PL when he's swarming you with a bunch of Illusions, SF can't just turn and fight. He can't rely on the lifesteal there or even really itemize into... He's not going for any kind of a lifesteal or satanic build right now. He wants to prioritize the evasion over at first. Oh, Envy, he blew his BKB earlier, but they're going to try to seed the high ground anyway. Even without it, Lotus Orb is there on Weeha, trying to keep him in fighting shape as they slowly chip away on the range tracks. Yeah. And the SF BKB, the slightly more important one for this high ground push, but even so, it seems Secret gonna just back off a little bit once more. Butterfly coming soon. I think they probably feel this is the key item for them before they go for the high ground push. Get Wee's Butterfly, then make another siege towards mid lane. But they have allowed Ice Ice Ice, as you talked about, to get the BKB, and it's such a good BKB game in general for Vici. You get all of them, and Radiance Bird is negated, the Ice Blast is negated. Only the Shadow Fiend really provides heavy physical damage. The Wraith King likely to be kited in the fights. Oh, burning! Man, Vici Gaming, the timing on some of these TPs, they're just, oh, the blinks Bad. out. They are really living yeah. life on the edge. I think there was even like a split second hesitation on the MV stun there. Maybe he just had to line up his mouse cursor, but they will, for the moment, not go for the high ground. Butterfly is completed. Clock's ticking on that Aegis, so it seems it may just be expiring. Only one minute to go, and it's actually Vici yeah. moving forward. We talked about another gem pickup as well, and that's what Famer has now bought for the FY Batrider, so... They're kind of moving out of the map right now just to deward as much as possible, not really looking for a fight of any kind. I really like that Fenrir buys it here. Yeah, obviously getting something like a refresher can be amazing on Wyvern, but this stage of the game, just having the BKB Batrider initiation, there's no counterplay. Unless they get like an Abyssal and Wraith Kitty, it's just in the perfect spot. Maybe you get the Lotus Orb off, but that is definitely easier said than done. Why now backing off. And for Secret, it, it doesn't really feel like they're going to actually be able to break this mid lane while having Aegis. So things will kind of reset here, and this is Vici Gaming being given the room to complete these BKBs. Is the fourth Aegis the charm? Uh -huh. BKB one out on Lina, even opting for it over the Aghanim Scepter, because hey, there's a lot of heroes that currently don't have the BKBs, and now there's no easy way to jump super. And it feels like Secret are kind of falling back in the, okay, we're not able to break high ground, let's starve them out, let's get deep wards up, farm their jungle, farm outside of the map as well, keep keep playing the economy game, because there's Secret who are getting more out of the map right now than Vici Gaming. But the downside of their lineup is very much that a hero like Wraith King does get cut around pretty heavily in the late game. But Lena stuns, Arctic Burn, PL Lances, Sticky Napalm. If Wraith King in a late game with a 5 second BKB. He's in position, wants to fight this. They're gonna look to bolt super. He gets up the Yules, the Doom. No, he's trying for the spell steal a bit early. Only got the Frost Armor. Still alive, super somehow fighting through this. But turns around and will die in the end. To the Shadow Fee right clicks, Doom going on Weeha. In danger, low to the level death. Can they keep him alive? FY jumping in but doesn't have anything left. Looks like Weeha will barely survive, so they lose the Lena. Pylai die, it was a pretty bold move jumping in. You see that one hero running down the lane. You gotta assume there's more behind him, but it works out. We have the butterfly making the difference there. And a 4v5 fight as well. Wraith King was up in the top lane dealing with some annoying split push when the fight broke out and Vici Gaming just not quite executing. Super actually had an opportunity like on 100 HP, he had his blink dagger back up, could have just got, gotten back and escaped, so. Not perfect play, but it's getting to that point where things are very tense between the two teams and... Well, we mentioned BKB's being really good against Secret, but not if you get caught like that. Yeah. And they're gonna have more lockdown soon. The Hex likely being built here by Misery now. 
Yeah, arguable. Grouping up mid, secret. Moving into position, Lena didn't get off her Laguna last fight, but the good news is she'll have it for this one. Cliff still available, a secret breach high ground. They are currently lacking the wall, they've got the ultimate. On turn line via Weeha begins the siege, slowly but surely, FY threatening for a jump in. Very close to the BKB here, if he wants to buy it. One of the slight weaknesses in the VG lineup is the reliance on these long cooldown ultimates to take fights. The Winter's Curse and Doom being on cooldown does kind of put them in a, a tricky situation. Can Secret force the issue on the high ground? That was where they double blinked in with Rubik and Darkseid there, looking to try and force things, but VG Gaming sitting far enough back that Secret didn't find any further pickoffs. Uh, good news for Vici, not too many casualties in that fight, so they still have the gem. But this could be the game changer, gods. The BKB finally complete on FY. Their key initiator, the one that has the magic community. There's always that Lotus Orb from Puppy to try to thwart any jump. That'll come down to positioning as a little spot of de-warding here. FY desperately trying to clear out the jungle. They know Secret had to have had a ward with the way that Pilot Dice started the fight pay for itself. And despite the BKBs, like this changes things a lot for VG Gaming. They can look to initiate, take team fights of their own. Despite the big kind of team fighter that the Darkseid brings with a, a strong team fight of their own. The biggest problem though still where VG Gaming are going to struggle is that both of their kind of big core heroes are a full item behind the secret ones. SF and Wraith King about both five, six thousand net worth ahead of they're kind of counterparts on the VG Gaming side. At this point, Doom, one of the, the big late game cores, much more so than the Lina and Ice 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 and Burning are uh, uh, kind of struggling to keep up with the Envy Wraith King and with the Weeha Shadow Fiend. Secret really want to try to deal with that dude. Maybe we even see something like a Linked Sphere for Misery. Uh, as well as the Lasso. Could be a nice pickup. Still heading on his gold for now. The push out comes for Burning top lane. Quietly farming, but like you said, a bit slowly. Still has an access late game. We're 43 minutes in. Often, uh, yeah, with a better start, we'll have one full extra item at least, if not two at this point. Pichu Gaming are definitely trusting a lot in their late game here. Mostly hugging the base, only creeping out to hit a, just a creep wave here there, and then scurrying back to their hidey hole. And as much as we talked about how FY, like if Pichu Gaming get to the late game, they've kind of got four core heroes here with FY playing the Greedy style Batrider, but look at what Puppy's done on the AA, and he's been playing Greedy himself. He's played like a full position core hero. He's going to have a scythe of Vice, it looks like. No, he's going for a Lincoln Sphere. So he's got Lincolns and Lotus Orb with a Midas. It's a, it is a double Lincoln. He's... So now they've got double Lincolns and Lotus Orb. Like, good luck initiating with the lasso for the Doom yep. now. And Puppy is out farming both Batrider and Lina right now, and that's just where Secret said, we'll just play Greedy on our supports as well. They're going to send in the PL Illusions. Then Nice Ice Ice jumps in. BKB is committed. Oh, the Aegis is already going the way of the Shadow Beat. Now FY jumps in. He does manage to get off the lasso on Pilot Knight Dragon. Him up all around. Beautiful curse could be coming out momentarily. He gets it on four heroes, oh. and that might just be enough to turn the fight. The doom is down. No more ulties. Wraith Kane's coming back though. They're gonna almost lose their HF. Push it off the bat. Hangs over now. Puppy is gonna survive. They jump forward onto Fenrir, finishing him off, and now hacking away at Super. Can they bring him down as well? Gets off the stun, running from the evil Ooh. Isama. Still got a bit of a PL problem, but both SF and Wraith King. So two for three there, and I believe they, they broke the ages. Puppy popped the cheese, and they blocked the, or, and they popped the ages. Yeah, great fight for Vici Gaming. And also a fight that's very far out from their base, so they don't give Secret the time to take the Aegis cheese, and then group up as five, and if you're defending, like, your base into an Aegis and cheese, like, if you have a 50-50 fight, suddenly you've lost Rack. So fighting as far away from possible, such that even if a bad fight comes their way, they've got time to buy back, reset, regroup, and then push out the lane, split push, and react from there. And Secret just... They, they kind of knew they had Roshan secured, but they were not ready for the Vici Gaming initiation. I, I actually can't believe with all the, the Lotus Orbs and Lincoln Spheres that they got off everything there, yeah. I believe. They got off the Doom, the Lasso, as well as the Winter's Curse on, what was it, three or four heroes? One oh, of them might have been DKB'd, but... That was the, the curse best definitely won Winter's the Curse I've, I think I've ever seen. I don't know if you can count on that if you're Vici, though. Oh, you know what? The, one of, well, one you of can when they're grouped as five in a Roche Pit, but not at any other stage of this game. They weren't... I guess they didn't deliver them? Because they're still on the... Oh, the Lincolns for AA was I guess there. they sent the courier ah. home in the middle of the fight or, or stopped at the shop. So never mind, they didn't have them that fight. Okay. Alright, if they have them, they probably don't get that initiation. <laughs> well, now they do, guys. But they yeah. have an Aegis and a Cheese Pour. They've missed this timing, so not... I, I, I don't actually... I don't really agree with the general sentiment that Vici Gaming will just straight up have the better late game with how much farm we see on these supports on the dire side. 
and just the playmaking potential of a Rubik in general, because all of these big, great late-game ultimates on the Radiant side can be stolen by Pi's Rubik, so I feel like it's going to come down much more to execution than one team just being stronger. Secret are on the hunt through the Radiant Woods. Some good wards here. Gonna scout this smoke. Burning. Butterfly gold if he wants to buy it. Would be lacking the buyback then, I believe. Is gonna see Fichi Gaming move up into the dire jungle. They're deep behind enemy lines and they may be able to find a pick. Burning would be able to buy back, but this will really slow down his item progression if they can get the jump. Got up jumps in, pie up onto the high ground and burning. Probably the best here to dodge that. Just quickly doppelganger's way. Starts checking out the lances. There's the counter lance. <laughs> a Radiant Illusion with the Radiance, and now they're gonna go. They faded out some of that counter play, and they move forward. Ice Ice Ice, trying to get off the Doom. So far, the level death did manage to catch the Doom. We have in the middle of the fray, though, and he goes to work with the Requiem, forcing back Super. Will finish them all, jumping deep towards the map, but now Burning can punish him. No! We has too strong. There's the curse, and then the counter curse the other direction. Lakuna is required here to finish the job, so they're gonna lose the leader, the Wyvern as well. They gotta get more out of this. It's only a shadow feed down so far. Vichy back on the hunt. They have a little mobility. And these Lincoln Spears and Lotus Orbs definitely making life more difficult. Pile I die now. Tossing out the zap. Burning. Jumping in again. He oh, one oh, more vacuum. Is there any follow-up to this? FY committing. He's got a lasso soon. Super jumping in. Just pummels Pile I with auto takes. He stops before finishing him up. He will end up going down to the shatter from Puppy. And now Fenrir oh, keeping himself in fighting shape for now. Envy is out pretty He's far. God the ultimate's online again though. Does he have the mana for it? Envy. Envy oh, no oh, goal. Meanwhile, FY chasing Misery also. Misery, now he wants to run. Oh, he Lasso's ready. Lasso. Lasso's ready. Forces oh. on cooldown. Blink also on cooldown. Blink is up. Kill. Misery will back Very close. off. Sheesh. What a fight. Well, but they committed a Lena as well as a Wyvern buyback there. Yeah. The buyback. Pretty heavy investment. Probably ends up being about equal, but. What happens with Vichy there is it's very much like it hurts the farm and item progression of a Lean and a Wyvern, but PL getting the last hit there on the Wraith King. It's basically like gold going from the supports over to the PL's hands because of those buybacks. Burning? This will be... he's fine. A little bit close. Yeah, no, no, eggs, eggs. no eggs on Puppy this no. game. And for Secret, very much the biggest problem there, just sticking around too long and over committing, and that's where the buybacks will catch you out. Now, we saw later on in the fights, if the PL isn't controlled, he gets scary. But Burning, he's not going to opt to complete the Butterfly. He decides he wants just more HP, more survivability as FY. It's aggressive in the Dire Jungle, blinks away from a back. Will retreat out. 49 minutes in, a very tense game number two. A win here, Vichy Gaming. Be a match point the rest of the series. A loss, we reset to a clean BO3. Does not really feel like a 15k gold lead right now for Secret. Not with how Vici Gaming keep on holding their high ground. We've seen Secret go for that uh, that high ground siege like five, six times now this game, and every single time Vici Gaming they have to maybe chew through a, a buyback or two, but very much not only holding the high ground but finding key kills in return as well. So again, V wants another solution here to the PL illusions. He's going to grab the Maelstrom Gods <laughs> eventually into the Mjolnir, but still, you imagine this PL six slotted and. I don't know if any amount of lockdown will do it without the Dark Seer's help. And one of the limitations right now for Seeker is they also don't have any MKB for the PL, so bringing him down when he's got Butterfly, Scotty is going to be very difficult for Wraith King and Shadow Fiend. Seems like nobody's building towards it either. Yeah. Ideally, it's going to be your Shadow Fiend's next item, I guess, and possibly the Wraith King's, although Abyssal Blade also very good against the mass BKBs on the side of Vichy Gaming. All right, question for you guys. FY now has 3,800 gold. Ah. What is the Batrider game, or uh, item here? Do you dare Ag Scepter? It's, it's pretty good. If you ever hit a two-hero lasso, that's almost like the, the fight being won right there, but there's so much counterplay. Big smoke, double smoke, FY. Look who gets the jump first, he fireflies, and it's Envy who jumps into the middle of the entire enemy team. Beautiful way to start them, they catch on FY. They're gonna burst him down, the BKB was committed, but it's far too late, Envy. Quick on the draw, and now hunting for more. There's the Yules. Super sprinting towards safety. They're forcing the Shrithkin around. Envy wants to go the other way. Stop pushing me in the wrong direction. Woo! But meanwhile, Weeha finds another kill. He brings down Fenrir on the Wyvern. So they grab two. One of them, perhaps the most important team fight here for Beachy Gods, has no buyback. 
Yeah, defending your high ground without that Winter's Curse could prove difficult. Secret, no Aegis cheese in hand, and they also do not know the buyback status of these heroes, and that's just where they'll be very cautious about pushing high ground. And against the Batrider, it's just... The game drags on. You never want to push a high ground against a team with a Batrider if you don't know their buyback status, and that's just where... Secret will kind of slowly chip and siege, kind of like poke around to see what's going to come their way, put Envy on the high ground, hitting the racks with a Lotus Orb, the Lincolns, and whoever's in the front lines has to have that fast Lincolns Lotus Orb response should Vici game there. So four step forward, Pilot Eye with the initiation. Put the back right. off from Burning, and now they're going to look to turn this super one. Some sweet sweet revenge. Looks to burst out high, but currently he's protected by so much. Beacon, he comes out for Vice to size the counter initiation for Misery, but there's the lasso who pulls Weeha in deep. Weeha, Butterfly was activated earlier. He had the flutter going, but I think it's just one off. Now Amplify getting choked down. A secret. Storm down mid. They only lose a Rubik, and they are looking for Rax here, guys. Big objectives. Or what they want. And BBKB is engages onto Ice Ice Ice. Actually, not all that durable. Hacking away at him, and it's enough, puppy. Getting the last hit. Actually, the last hit going to the range game, but more importantly, he's dead. Super next. That's a dieback now in the Doom. The Batrider also out of the picture. He died back as well. Alina unable to buy back, and this could even be the game. Yeah, they're going to go for another lane of Rax here. They just have to be wary of the Winter's Curse. Positioning is going to be key here for Team Secret as they push onto the high ground. Do not want any hero caught next to a Wraith King or a Shadow Fiend inside that curse. And even if they all get wiped out here, they've got four buybacks. Yep. So Secret in a great position to take a second lane of Rax, maybe even close out this game right now. Burning, going for a bit of chip. He will now engage further with Illusions. Weeha, dangerously low. The Ice Blast committed to try and kill them off. And he's lingering mid. He's waiting for like a pick off to come uh, from a defender, and that may be Fenrir. He can kill him from full HP as well. Burning does hold buyback. He's the one hero that's got it now. Manta available. Can try and go on Puppy, but with the Lincoln Sphere, the Lotus Orb, there's so many ways to turn around on him. And they're gonna jump forward. Zoning him back as Envy re-engages. He's got the ultimate available, the BKB as well. Maybe he they still want the second lane of Rax, yeah. but it's taking them a long time to get it. Just the tower down, they're very cautious mm. about it. The Illusion stacking up Envy. So he should have the mana for the ult. They spend a lot of time not attacking the base. Very much Envy trying to be cute in the mid lane, trying to find a pick off. Secret, the rest of the team not really able to fully commit in the top lane as well. Weeha was very low to be fair to him and as a result, Vici Gaming just lose the one lane of Rax. I'm pretty sure they'll consider, consider themselves lucky that it wasn't more. Oh, they're gonna find a big pick potentially bottom lane. The four staff used to break the Lincolns and then out comes the lasso. Easy kill secured. Taking Misery off the map for 90 seconds, 80 seconds, but does have the buyback. So not nearly enough here by Vici as they are now on a full lane of racks. Yep. With Secret, very importantly, guys, they've got all three tier twos still standing at 54 minutes. Oh yeah, Secret, um, uh, to be very real about this game, they're miles ahead. They're now looking at four core heroes all approaching 20k plus net worth. And with Vici Gaming continuing to use and shoot through buybacks, we're not seeing item progression on heroes that need it. Heroes like Lena especially, the Doom as well. You'd like to see a Boots of Travel, a Refresher, an AC, whatever it may be in the late game. And these items, just not available. Fenrir is going to swoop in, gets a little poke off on Pi. Now it's to back away. The Arctic Burn committed. They did force out the Darkseer buyback. But in doing so, they may have also just basically given Secret this Roshan. Let's see, do they want to continue to fight? They've got the ward up the hill. FY, Lasso cooling down still for a couple seconds. He's going to have it now. Entire team doesn't see him coming, but they most likely suspect it, judging by their positioning. They know the bat's going to be the first one in here. Puppy, just hanging around dealing with illusions. In goes FY, he doesn't get the Lasso off right away. The Lincolns is protecting Puppy, and now they're going to be forced back. Super also trying to retreat out. Doom does go against them, but it's stolen now by Pilot Knight. He's going to look to chug a Doom out the other way. Doom dead by his own sword. They still hold a lasso. They are going to try to control the Shadow Fiend with BKB already committed. He can be focused down by Super. They will manage to kill off the Shadow Fiend, but it comes at a bit of a cost. Is now FY still the, not using the lasso. May die to neutrals, leaving the Centaurs when him dead. But Burning's healthy. And Burning may look to go back into the pit now. They committed a nice blast there. It is cooling down soon. Okay. Dire buybacks now, gods. The Ancient hey. Apparition back in the fray. Yep. They've got the full complement of heroes with Doom down. They still have the Winter's Curse, though, and FY's gonna jump in. He doesn't get anything off, but oh. it's the What a curse by Fenrir! Is it enough? They'll bring down one. The Ice Blast is there. On the Super, it goes for Burning. Hacks away, and they may not be able to deal with him at this no, point. Like he's trying. He does have the damage. Takes him down. Burning has a buyback if he wants to commit it. Does he want to risk it? 
Will he just be forced to sack this Aegis? You betcha, Bernie's coming back! And uh, it's all the way to bust. Okay. And he won't be able to find kills off this. Very much just a kind of zoning buyback. We'll keep Secret away from the Roshan pit. And it's... Wow, they're gonna buy back even more here. They really want to commit for this Roshan, knowing that Darkseer and Uppy on the AA have both died back. That's at most three secret heroes who can come to this fight. They're gonna get the Aegis and Cheese here. It looks like yep. pretty much uncontested. Cost but there's still tier twos. Mid is getting pushed in. The tier fours are taking heavy damage for this. And it's not even 100% guaranteed. Pile Lai die. Will he go for a big play here? That's an actually vision no in the pit, enemy's gonna give it to him, and now they engage, the BKBs get popped, up to the high ground, he scoots away, just trying to hang on, this is giving them time to focus on Envy, but remember he's got the ultimate, they've gotta burn all his mana if they wanna come off and burn it! Oh, nice cold embrace, that'll keep him healthy, still plenty of mana on Envy, he's gonna have the second life, he's stalling, burning says screw it, I know I can't kill him now, but I can go for the Aegis, he gets the Aegis, Why snags the cheese, he's gonna pay with his life for that though, for his insolence, and now, Ice Ice Ice, jumping forward, Envy does have a buyback, he's caught out, this could be the turn for Beachy. They're gonna brain down Envy as well. Weeha, I believe was just scouted for a glimpse. He'll jump away. Tier two falls top. This is an opening. Beachy now have an exposed lane of Rax gods. They oh. could go for it. But Darkseer is coming in four. Ancient Apparition at 12. This and will not be easy. Both should they falter? Yeah, both they may just lose right ready. here. Wraith King and Rubik ready to go. This is a full on. 5v5 engagement that Vici Gaming are heavily out itemized in. These buybacks that they've been continuing to chew through really hurting their item progression. Oh, Burning. It is still not an Aghanim's upgraded ultimate for the AA, so probably not enough to kill Burning, but it's gonna still do quite a bit of damage here. Slow down the push, the illusions stack up, but Secret, they're okay with losing this tower. It needs to be more damage from Vici if they want to call it a day and consider this fight a win. They surge we huh? threatening to jump forward. Burning, though, is healing up a bit. And he's able to stay in this fight. The Salves are being buried out. They know that this is their time to strike. And now they're going to bulldoze FY, killing off the bat, who has no buyback. He's dead for 80. The bat back on Ice 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 has just the Centaur stop. Let's it go on Weeha. That's a melee control. They need that at three. The arrow stopped by Super. Almost enough to finish off Weeha right there. But he scoots away towards the fountain. Can they finish the job? They fall back on Envy. They're really all in for this fight. And Burning 2 continuing to work on these heroes as they hunt his friends. Getting home barely is Ice Ice Ice. We're trading out as well as burning. They have lost three. The Wyvern has buyback. The Bat does as well. The Lena, no buyback for 87 seconds. I mean, again, Pi, stealing a Laguna Blade there and turning it around in Super's face. That was just some insane play. You gotta love, like, it's just the ama amazing shot calling coming out from Beachy Gaming. To use those buybacks, to go for the ages, go for... An incredibly risky but almost necessary play there to push the high ground. They were down by like almost 30,000 net worth in total and trying to pull things back their way, but now they're going to have to look to hold and defend. Three heroes down, one of them the longest respawn on Lena without buyback. Things yeah. get very difficult for them here. Yeah, it's a glyph. It looks like Bat should be able to save his buyback, which yeah. is finally available. FY didn't have it when that fight started, but just got the gold towards the end of the fight. However, Wyvern may not have that luxury, gods. The secret march in. Top lane of Rex is exposed. The burning starts to administer some punishment here to Weeha. Lotus Sword Blink is protective. There's the jump in from Pilai Die. He does have the stolen good. He's already committed to try and turn the fight. Burning, unable to fight through this. He wants to hang on to that Aegis, but it Shut won't be away. possible. He's gonna lose it as FY runs over and floats with flame, trying, trying to find the pick. And it will be Envy. They go for it. The mana. Oh, it's not. It is barely there. Looks like he's coming back. Just had it in the end. Round two for him, but the whole team scrambling out of the base. They have yet to crack the racks. They just can't seem to get the job done. Now Burning charging forward again. FY's on the move, doesn't have a lasso. Even the Shadow Blade for a bit of extra mobility through these fights. They're losing the top. Creeps are winning the game for Seeker to the top lane. A barrage of auto attacks. This will be death by a thousand cuts. If BG can't find answers soon, the throne also explodes. The base is crumbling. BG Gaming. They might be coming out in okay shape through the skirmishes, but their base is taking the punishment instead. Yeah. Who would have thought a 60-minute illusion room could do so much? That was a Wraith King illusions pushing in the top lane with the creep wave, helping bringing them down, and suddenly Seeker get a lane of Rax in just the most unexpected way. All right, guys, you're the captain of Vici now. You've lost almost all your Rex here. Bottom lane's exposed. You know Secret's way up in terms of items. What do you do? That's an understatement. <laughs> the item, uh, 
you go all in. You do exactly what you did when you pushed in that top lane. I think that was some fantastic decision making from BG Gaming, even though it didn't lead to them getting a Rax or anything. This is desperation time. You've got to just go all out and just try and find a way to break through. Burning, want, wait for his buyback, I would say, so he can at least TP back in and have a second life in that all in fight. Save that last smoke for your PL buyback and just go all out. And you've just got to take a fight to secret in like an unexpected uh, way. This could make things interesting. Well, okay. Bernie will get the DD rune now up to about 600 damage per auto attack, but Envy's the one who jumps in first. Ice 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 as well, Poppy's BKB going deep. Who's he going to do? It's Pilot Ice. Stop trying to steal my spells, man. Leave me alone. Now, super jumping as well. There's the stun. Looking for the Wraith King take down, but he steals the oh, ultimate oh, FY. Oh, gets up the lasso. On the Wii, I'm trying to control him. Then the curse from Bedroom again. Secret in a bit of trouble here. But the Ice Blast to turn it. Burning, poking and prodding. Does he have the firepower? No. The peel's down. No buyback for a minute. This could be it. God's three dead. FY TPing out. No, it's canceled. I does it again. And he's dead as well. Four with dead with no buyback. And just like that, a best of five has become a best of three. I don't think there's ever been such a tense close game with a 25k gold lead. Each of these fights so close, every single buyback mattering so much, and somehow BG Gaming just being able to taking it to secret time and time again despite the massive gold disadvantage. Game two goes to secret, guys. What was once a best of five is now one to one, meaning we effectively will have a best of three. And to break down this crazy game and to look forward to game three, the midway point of the Nunyung Grand Finals, we head it back to Cottle Guy.